Is it in the beginning or at the beginning? Today, we're going to talk about in the beginning, at the beginning, in the end, and at the end. The first thing you need to understand is that in many situations, native English speakers often use these incorrectly. So if you mix them up sometimes, don't worry, we do too. But let's take a look at how to use them correctly. If you know the basics of using at and in for time, you already know that we usually use at for specific points in time, and we usually use in for periods of time. The same thing is true when we use in the beginning and at the beginning. At the beginning tells us about a specific point in time. It basically means at the starting point, and we often use it with another noun. Here are some examples. At the beginning of each day, he drinks a cup of coffee. I pay my credit card bills at the beginning of each month. At the beginning of the video, I told you what we would talk about. In the beginning tells us about a period of time, and it basically means at first, or during the first time period. I know that explanation might be a little bit difficult to understand, but don't worry, it will become more clear as we look at some examples. But what's actually more important is that we usually use in the beginning to show change or contrast, to show that something started one way but would be different later. And whereas at the beginning is often used with another noun, in the beginning is usually just in the beginning no of and no noun. Here are two examples. In the beginning, I didn't enjoy studying English. Here, in the beginning tells us two things. It tells us that, one, my feelings about studying were that way when I started studying, and they continued to be that way for a period of time. And two, it tells us that my feelings about studying would probably change in the future. He was very shy in the beginning. Again, in the beginning tells us two things. It tells us that one, he was very shy for the first period of time. And two, in the beginning tells us that he would probably become less shy later. Before we move on to at the end and in the end, here's a very quick review of what we have learned about at the beginning and in the beginning. At the beginning is about a specific point in time, and we usually use it with another noun. In the beginning is about a period of time. We don't usually use it with another noun, and we use it to show change or contrast. Now, at the end and in the end. Just like at the beginning, at the end tells us about a specific point in time. It means at or during the final part of something. And just like at the beginning, we typically use it with another noun. Here are some examples. He receives his paycheck at the end of the month. They got married at the end of the movie. At the end of the week, she was very tired. In the end basically means after everything, and we typically use it to focus on the final result of something. And just like in the beginning, we usually do not use it with another noun. Again, let's look at two examples. In the end, we decided to order pizza. In this example, in the end, tells us that, at first, we were not sure what we were going to order, but after doing something, maybe looking at menus or talking about our budget, we decided to order pizza. He didn't want to accept the offer, but he said yes in the end. In this example, in the end tells us that the final action or the final result is different from what someone planned or expected. So again, 
at the end tells us about a specific point in time. And this is the one that we often use with of and another noun. In the end basically means after everything. And we do not usually use it with another noun. But again, we don't always use them correctly. I can think of lots of situations in which in the end of feels more natural to me than at the end of does. But that doesn't mean that it's correct. As an English learner, I recommend that you use these phrases the way that I explained them in this video. But just remember that sometimes you might hear them used differently. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.